Okay, so this is gonna be um, another DIY music video thing. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys, so this is my pedal board. If that's in focus. That's my pedal board. Um, what I wanted was I wanted to put a power um, plug socket on the back for power. <clears throat> Pretty simple. It's like standard like any other like PA speaker. Plug that guy in. As you can see there. Turn it on. And it lights up, which is kind of cool. Same, turn it off. And that's it. And it just requires a couple of things. Um, I have a power board inside there. And what I've done is I've just snipped this cable, bought myself one of these for a couple bucks off eBay. Came with some little like cables and things. And I've just like, replaced the head there. And then I've put that in the back. So when you plug that in, it just turns on a whole power board under there, which I have all my pedals and things connected to. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that. And yeah, I hope it helps. Okay, so this is the pedal board before I've got the pedals on it. Um, as you can see there, there's that white cable coming out the back. Um, that's because there's the power board inside. Um, there you go, so I've got my power brick plugged in there and a few other empty spots. And that's how I've had it at the moment, so that hang out the back. It's been a bit of a pain. And what I ideally want is I want to be able to just plug in the IEC into the back. Nice and clean. Okay, so these are the things that I've got. Um, this cost a few dollars of IEC socket um, off eBay. Um, I've also got some wire strippers. I've got a power lead there and some electrical terminals I just got from Bunnings. Um, the socket I got, the one actually came with these little cables. Um, yeah, so ideally, I was thinking that's probably where I want to put it. Um, and I'd be wiring this cable to the back of it. Okay, so I snip, um, tried not to do it too short, but too long, so I snipped it there um, because I was also going to take another piece of length to use as extra wire if I needed it. So I snapped it there so I had this extra piece. Um, just if I needed, if you need any more lengths of wire, my little socket came with a couple, but, um, you know, uh, if you don't have any, you can just cut a little bit more off, um, strip back the white, and then underneath you'll see you've got the three different cables, and you can use that cable um, when you're wiring it together. Um, yeah, okay, so, there's the cable coming out. Um, first thing you've got to do is, yeah, again, strip away the white stuff. Um, if you haven't used wire cutters before, it might be worth a, another YouTube tutorial on that. You don't want to cut too deep. Um, I definitely recommend using wire cutters. Scissors will work, actually. you just got to be a bit more careful. So, pull it off. You'll expose the three cables. Um, there's a live, a neutral, and the other one whatever the other one is. Anyway, I'll show you which way to wire them up. Um, and I bought these little uh, terminals from Bunnings, which are great because you can just clamp them on. There's no soldering required. Um, soldering can be such a pain. So you just buy these little terminals and then that's going to help them just slot onto the back. Okay, so once you've sort of cleaned it up, you've got these three wires here. Um, these are my wire cutters. To just strip them back, you probably want about a centimetre or less of copper showing. A couple twists and then what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to put that into the electrical terminals and use the pliers to kind of like squish it and that just like pins it in there and you've got quite a good connection. There we go. Oh, yep. Give it a twist, keeps all the wires together. Easy. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. Let's get this guy. These things just slide on loosely. 
And then what you need to do is with a pair of pliers, you've got to you crush the metal underneath the plastic, just like this. And then that tends to stay on there. Oop, I didn't do it quite tight enough. Might have to be quite hard to use maybe that bit of the pliers. Squeeze it tight. That's that's on there now. So do that to all three. So I'll pop the other ones on. Uh, please feel free to skip ahead in the video. Um, this is just real time. Real time DIY. Oh no. Okay. There we go. Done. All three. Amazing. So once you've got those three, um, I'm going to show you how to wire it up. So using a couple of those short bits of wire, I got given some, which is easy. They came with little terminals, or you could use the bits that you cut earlier just to connect these pins together in this way. So I used a bit of red to connect those pins, and the black one, uh, you can look up online the way this maps, but um, it, it took me a while to find the exact version that had a socket on it because different um, IEC sockets with fuses and things, they have slightly different arrangements. This one does not have a fuse, it's just a switch. So the black one connects to there, just like that. So you're just bridging these terminals um, between the socket and the switch mechanism, the top and the bottom. Bottom and top, I should say, respectively. And then I'm gonna show you uh, where to connect the other ones. So you can see in writing there's a little uh, an L and an N next to the terminal saying which one's alive, which one's in neutral. So you pop the cables on like that, the brown one goes there, blue one goes there, and then your ground is always going to be the yellow and green. And there you have it, that's it wired up exactly as it should be. Um, pause the video if you are trying to do it, just pause it there and you can see which way they go. Um, it does depend whether you have the switch version or a fuse version or none, none at all. So this is just a quick test, I just thought I'd plug the kettle in before I like run it all through. Plug the kettle in not working, and then I uh, flick the switch. There we go. This one I got has a little light, little LED light in there, which is nice. Um, and then the kettle comes on, and we can make some tea. Amazing. There we go. Okay, so then I, I was lucky. With, with this, the hole here, I actually managed to slide it in um, very snugly, which doesn't always happen. Um, and then here's just a clip of me plugging into the wall and turning it on as you would. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.